architecture we will discuss band sorry block break block or shoe break and what is the lecture we are going to discuss band break so let me draw the diagram so suppose there is a drum and in this drum we need to apply a break so it is connected through a belt here and now suppose this is the pivot the pivot and these are the levers this one second and this third so suppose we are applying break over here F then here there is a band here while in shoe or block break this is a shoe so this is a band that's why it's called band break and this distance is called suppose A the tensions in this band are the tension in this band are T1 and T2 so and the center is O now the distance between this uh, second band and the center is B so the length total length will be L so here the radius of the drum is suppose smaller uh, and the angle which is being protruded this angle uh, which is being protruded is suppose this angle is theta so it consists of a rope belt or a flexible steel band and with a friction material which is pressed against the external surface of a, of a cylindrical drum when brake is applied the force is applied at the free end of the lever so here force is applied at the free end of the lever so brake torque on the drum the torque so torque on the drum torque T will be equal to T1 minus T2 into R so the torque T applied will be T1 minus T2 into R so where R is the effective radius of the drum now the ratio of the tight and slack side is given by we know that the ratio of the tight and slack side is T1 by T2 is given by A raised to mu delta so on the assumption that the band is on the point of a slipping on the drum the effectiveness of the force F depends upon the direction of the rotation of the drum the ratio of length A and B so this is the ratio of A and B the direction of the applied force so where this force is applied to apply the brake to the rotating drum the band has to be tightened on the drum and this is possible if F is applied in the downward direction is applied in the downward direction when E is greater than B it is uh, F in downward direction when E is greater than B F is applied in upward direction F is applied should be applied in upward direction when E is less than B so if the force is applied is not as above the band is further loosened on the drum which means no breaking effect is produced so let's see the various cases for A is greater than B and A is less than B so first case that is A is greater than B so first case A is greater than B so here this this A length is greater than B length so uh, as in this case A is greater than B so for counterclockwise rotation so for A is greater than B here for counterclockwise rotation the drum at the tight and the slack side of the band will be uh, so suppose the same figure we can use for uh, counterclockwise rotation also so uh, suppose this is the counter so this will be counterclockwise rotation here so let's let's see the various forces acting on this so uh, let me erase this now for counterclockwise rotation on the drum the tight side and slack side of the band is shown here t1 and t2 considering the forces acting on the lever and taking moments ab about the pivot so the, the forces will be f l that is force f into length f into l minus t1 into a 
this t1 into a will be minus t1 into a and this uh, tension will be in this direction so it will be plus t2 b equal to 0 so the force f will be equal to t1 a minus t2 b divided by a as t1 is greater than t2 and b is greater than a is greater than b under all conditions the effectiveness of the brake will depend upon the force now for uh, so this was for the counterclockwise rotation so uh, sorry this was for the counterclockwise rotation now let's see for the clockwise rotation now for clockwise rotation in this case the titan calculator are reversed so uh, what will happen in uh, what will happen in clockwise rotation then this will be t1 and this will be t2 so in that case uh, a is greater than b this is counter clockwise and this clockwise so in clockwise rotation f1 the equation will be f l minus g 2 a plus t1 b is equal to 0 so f will be equal to t2 a minus t1 b divided by f so as t2 is greater than t1 here uh, as n a is greater than b here so the break will be effective as long as t2 is greater than t1 so as long as t2 is greater than t1 the break will be effective so that is uh, as long as the ratio of t2 by t1 is greater than ratio of b upon a so to to make this break apply so t2 this term t2a minus t1b should be uh, greater than or equal to uh, 0 so what does this mean so it means t2a should be greater than or equal to t1b so this means t2 by t1 should be greater than equal to uh, b by a now equal if they are equal then the force will be zero so we are considering just greater than so t2 by t1 should be greater than b b upon a so it is as long as the ratio of t2 by t1 is greater than b upon a so when t2 by t1 is when t2 by t1 is less than or equal to a upon b the force is earned zero or negative so that is brake becomes self-locking so here the force here the uh, brake becomes self-locking as no force is needed to apply the brake and once the brake has been engaged no further force is required to stop the rotation of the drum now let's see second case that is a is greater than b and f is acting in upward direction so let me draw the diagram so we'll get more clarity uh, so uh, let this be the drum uh, this this be the liver this be the pivot this this will be the arm and suppose these are the band so if this is the band so now this is A now this is A and this is B and this is B so as you can see here that A is greater than B here so in this case so in this case uh, the force will be acting from down downward direction so the force will be acting from downward direction to apply the brakes so this is the length L so this is length L so uh, let's see the various forces so first if, if it is rotating clockwise direction so in that in that case uh, the forces will be F into L so F into L plus T1A so uh, tensions are acting so for clockwise it will be t1 here and t2 here so 
f1 fl plus t1a minus t2b is equal to 0 so f will be equal to t2b minus t1a divided by l so as t2 is greater than t1 b is greater than a the break is operated only as long as so the break will be operated only as long as t2b minus t1a is greater than 0 so which means that t2 by t1 is greater than a by b so once the t2 by t1 becomes equal to a by b the force is 0 now same case it is rotation clockwise so uh, so if in the same case is clockwise so this was for anti-clockwise so the force for clockwise will be f is equal to uh, t1b minus t2a divided by l so as t1 is greater than t2 and b is greater than a under all conditions the effectiveness of the break will depend upon the force and when a is equal to b the band cannot be tightened and thus the break cannot be applied so the band break just this band break is called differential band break however if either a or b is made zero a simple band break is uh, obtained so that is if a equals zero or b is equal to zero so we'll get simple band break we'll get simple band break and a simple band break uh, if b is equal to zero if you're considering uh, b is equal to zero so our formula for force f will be equal to uh, uh, t1 a upon l so this will be equal to t1 t1 a upon l similarly the force can be found in other cases also so note we have to note that the break can neither have self adjusting properties nor it can be self locked and the brakes is said to be more effective when maximum braking force is applied with least effort so for case e greater than b for case e greater than b f r downwards the effort f required is less when the rotation is clockwise assuming that brake is effective in case 2 when e is less than b f of f is upwards and required less when rotation is counterclockwise assuming the brake is effective thus for the given any arrangement of the differential break. Now there are few advantages and disadvantages of this brakes. So first let's discuss self locking. So self locking is taken in hoist. So there are few advantages of self locking uh, that is in hoist and conveyors where motion is permissible only in one direction. So if the motion gets reversed somehow the self locking is engaged which can be reduced only by reversing applied force so that is being uh, very useful in hoist so let's let's see a few advantages of band break and disadvantages of band break so advantages of band break so first advantage is it is it is simple in construction simple in construction it is a small number of parts there these features reduce the cost of the band break most equipment can um, equipment manufacturers can easily produce band break without requiring specialized facilities like foundry or forging shop no specialization and the friction lining is only a part that must be purchased from outside agencies then next advantage is the band break is more reliable it's more reliable uh, than due to the small number of parts band break requires less maintenance it requires less maintenance then disadvantages of band break are that uh, the heat the heat uh, dissipation capacity of band break is poor so poor heat dissipation capacity next the wear of the friction lining is only one from one end to another so wear is only one
where is anyone so bent bricks are used in applications like bucket conveyors hoist chainsaws and they are more popular as backstop devices now let's see another another brick that is internal expanding brick this is also very much important brick so internal expanding brick so suppose let me draw the drum first so this is the drum it is rotating in clockwise direction uh, this this is the central lines then uh, suppose this there is a shoe inside the drum so this is the shoe so th this is the shoe here and this is the pivot this is the pivot this is the shoe and this, uh, this is the friction lining so these are the friction lining so friction lining and here you have to apply the actuating force here you have to apply the actuating force and this is the drum so here an internal uh, expanding brake the construction of internal expanding brake here it is shown in this figure it consists of a shoe this consists of a shoe which is pivoted at one end and subjected to the actuating force at the other end so here it is being pivoted and here the force is being applied a friction lining is fixed on the shoe and the, the complete assembly of th so this friction line is fixed on the shoe so it is fixed on this shoe and the complete assembly of shoe lining and pivot is placed inside the big drum so this is placed inside this the drum so internal expand internal shoe brakes with two symmetrical shoes are reused on all automobile vehicles and the actuating force is usually provided by means of hydraulic cylinder or cam mechanism and the analysis of the internal shoe brake is based on the assumption that the intensity of the normal pressure between the friction lining and the brake so the intensity between the friction lining and the brake drum at any point is proportional to the vertical distance from the pivot so what is assumed that the pressure is proportional to the distance from the pivot the brake drum and the shoe are rigid that so let me uh, write the so normal pressure is proportional to the distance between the friction lining and brake drum at any point is proportional to vertical distance from the pivot so distance from the pivot second the brake drum and the shoe shoe are rigid so they are rigid and next the centrifugal force fc acting on the shoe is negligible it's negligible so fc is zero the coefficient of friction is constant so mu is constant so these are the assumptions made in, in analysis of the internal shoe brake so i hope you understood uh, the brakes that is band brake and internal expanding shoe brake so hope to see you in the next lecture and thank you very much so in the next lecture uh, we will see uh, braking of a vehicle so this ends the shoe uh, this ends the brake topic so we have seen it today uh, band brake In previous lecture, we have seen uh, shoe brake, and and also we have seen internal expanding shoe brake. There is one more topic, but it's not in the syllabus. It's shoe band brake, the combination of one uh, first and second, that you can uh, research or search uh, according to your interest. So I hope you understood this type, uh, these three types of the brake which are in your syllabus. So thank you very much.